In this problem, we are given isosceles CAT, where side CA is congruent to side CT. We want to find the measure of angle ATC. Since this is an isosceles triangle with side CA congruent or equal in length to CT, we also know that the base angles, or the angles opposite those congruent sides, are also equal in measure. Therefore, we know that the measure of angle ATC is equal to the measure of angle TAC. Let's investigate this a little further. We are also given one angle measure, or 145 degrees. We can now find the measure of the vertex angle of that isosceles triangle. And that vertex angle is angle TCA. Since we know that a straight line is composed of 180 degrees, we know that vertex angle TCA is given by 180 degrees minus 145 degrees, which is 35 degrees. We also know that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, we know that if I added my two angles, ATC and TAC, and 35 degrees, I would get a total of 180 degrees. Therefore, if I took 180 degrees, minus 35 degrees. That would give me 145 degrees, which is equal to the sum of the two congruent angles. Therefore, if I want to find the measure of one of those angles, angle ATC, I know that this is equal to half of 145 degrees. This results in an angle measure for ATC of 72 and a half degrees.